Welcome to practice area of composite figures. We only have four. I'm going to do one with you and then let you attempt the rest on your own. So with composite figures, the first thing we want to do in any figure is break it into basic shapes that we can easily find the area of and then we just add the separate areas together so we can get the area of the whole shape. So let's take number one. I will do number one for you and give you some hints on two, three, and four. So number one, I think with this dotted line it's pretty easy to see we have a rectangle and a trapezoid. So that's what I'm going to do is I am going to let you sky blue and I'm going to draw a line right here there it is and now we can easily see the rectangle and the triangle alright so the area of a rectangle is length times width the area of a trapezoid is half the height times the sum of the bases base one plus base 2. You do not have to write the formulas inside. You can write them separately if you'd like. That's totally your call. I'm doing this just so I remember the two shapes I want to use and the formulas that go with them. So now let's look at our shapes. We'll do the rectangle first. So to find the area of the rectangle we have length times width. I'm going to make my length 8 and my width 3. Again, it doesn't matter. It's completely your choice. So area equals 8 times 3. Area equals 24 inches. And I got that because it tells me inches right there inches squared. Now over here I'm going to do my trapezoid. Call it a trap. And I have my formula here. Area equals one half times the height times the sum of the two bases. All right, now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and label. You must use the vertical line. So whether we're finding that height here, over here, down here for number three, it has to be the vertical line. So my height in this case is 10. One of my bases is 30. Call this base one. I don't have a number up here. So how am I going to find base 2? Well if you remember we broke this into a rectangle and we know that rectangles the left and the right are the same and top and the bottom are the same. So if my top is 8 that means my bottom is going to be 8 inches as well. So there is your base 2. Now we plug it in. Area equals, I'm going to draw a little line right here, area equals half times my height which is 10 times the sum of my two bases. Base 1 is 30, base 2 is 8. You have to add first, it's in parentheses, so we have 38, this means times, times one-half. And I can put that straight in my calculator. So area is going to give me, let's go to my calculator down here, move this guy over here, one divided by two times ten times thirty-eight, <clears throat> excuse me, a hundred and ninety. Excellent. So I know that the area of the trapezoid is 190 inches squared. You must do the final where you add the two pieces together. 
So the overall area is going to be 24 plus 190. And again, grab your calculator. We already have the 190. Just add 24 to that. My total area is 214. And that's inches squared, because we are talking area. So that's my final answer, and I'm going to circle it. That's all there is to it, just breaking it down. Over here, you can break it into two trapezoids, right? You have one upright and one upside down. You have eight for each piece. Now you could do this differently. You could have a triangle here. You could make another triangle here and then a rectangle. But again, I would recommend, you don't have to do it, but I would recommend using as few shapes as possible. So yes, I could do two triangles, but then I would have three things to add together. Whereas they kind of already helped me do my two trapezoids. So in this case, I would write two trapezoids for this one. If you haven't written this down, pause it, because I'm going to scroll down and look at three and four. So write this down, and then come back, and we'll look at three and four. And go ahead and clear this out, and we'll scroll down. All right, so we have the find the area of this figure in number three. Again, they've been very helpful in going ahead and giving me a dotted line to see the two separate shapes. So I would make a triangle and a rectangle. Could you, in fact, draw one long line here and make two trapezoids? Absolutely. It's still only two shapes. I prefer the rectangle and the triangle because those are easier formulas to use. You got your length and your width, you have your height, and we know our base is going to be 8 because this is a rectangle, so these have to be the same size. For number 4, now they've done something interesting right here. They split it sideways. I got to be honest, I don't think I would split it sideways like that. That diagonal it gives you two trapezoids. So you see you have a trapezoid here, you have a base 1 is 6, base 2 is 16, and your height is 5. And you have a trapezoid here, base 1 is 20, base 2 25, and your height is 10. So you could in fact do two trapezoids. I gotta be honest, I would probably just go ahead and do this. I would um, make this line right here if it'll let me there we go I would do that and make this one long rectangle which would be a 5 by 16 so 5 times 16 and then this would be a 10 and not 25 because see we don't have this extra piece this is separate a 10 by 20 10 by 20 for this guy and then add up those two. That's what I would do. It is completely your choice if you want to do the trapezoids or the rectangles. And that's the thing about composite shapes. There are lots of ways you can break them down. But that's the homework. Um, that's really all you need to do. Find the area of everything. I think the most important part for this is to make sure you don't forget to add your shapes at the end. So if you have two trapezoids, you're going to add both areas triangle and a rectangle, two rectangles or two trapezoids. Just make sure you add everything for your final answer. That's all I have. Good luck with the homework. If you need any help, please ask a teacher.